Very fruity. Mm, very fruity. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and this is my son Ben. And today we have a very special and very, very expensive bottle here in my cask. It's a Lafroig, 30 years old. It's vintage 1985 and 53.5 ABV. It's a cask strength. And the price is well above a thousand euros, pounds, dollars. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so this bottle was not delivered to us uh, by our distributor as the 32-year-old uh, from the Sherry cask was. Uh, no, this one we opened ourselves. Mm. Yeah, sometimes you have to invest. Oh, it's, it's very good. I'm, I'm very excited. I've been at the Lafroig Distillery, had their, their core range, and uh, you can see this video here. Uh, we went through the whole distillery. It's a very, very nice place. And in the end, I had a talk with a master distiller. But uh, the distillery, I have to tell you, is, is very nice. You've been there a few mm -hmm. years before me and you have 10% of the malting at the distillery is still malted at their own malting floors and they have a very, very beautiful um, distilling room where all the, the pot stills are in line. Yeah, I've seen the pictures from you yeah. and they are darker today. Mm. When, when I was there, they were bright, shiny copper Mm. And now they are darker, and this, sh this shows uh, the hotter you fire the stills, the darker they become. Mm. Yeah, so they oxidize over the years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you always say, um, how can the water get into the Lafroig? Because it's 100 meters away from the distillery. The, the warehouse of Lafroig is just five meters away from the water. Unfortunately, what Horst says, says is true. There are no windows. <laughs> yeah, so, so there can't be salt <laughs> yeah. in the Lafroy whiskey. So it's just a remembrance of saltiness mm -hmm. coming from the maritime notes in mm -hmm. the whiskey. Yeah. So yeah. Here. Um, there's just, yeah. just one story left. And ah, when oh. I went, uh, <laughs> went through the distilleries of Campbelltown and Isla, I just went around and you see the malting floors. And at one distillery, uh, I found a mouse and I was like, oh, Mouse, it's gonna run away. I'm like, it's not gonna run away. It looked at me, I looked at it, and I'm like, mm, okay, so is it dead? I was like going forward and, and it blinked, and I was like, oh, it's not dead. But it didn't run away, it was so fat. <laughs> <laughs> it was just full and fat, and it just didn't move. Like, oh, I can't be bothered. So, so for, for mice, <laughs> mice and none are the same. The frog mm. is like paradise. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> paradise. And the thing is, this is not dangerous because uh, you distill the, the, the stuff and there's just nothing left from, from the mouse. So yeah, what I really like about this, this box is you have, it's, it's very vintage style. Oh, I like that. I like that really a lot. A lot. So um, 30 year old bottle, you have it secured here by a, a magnet ring. And you, here you go, here's an, an envelope. So it's... Uh, in, in, in shiny copper style here and printed on it as well as uh, on the uh, on the label the 30 is in, in copper style and on the box itself then you have these uh, oh, hinges copper made from copper yeah oh, I'd say it's maybe <coughs> copper brass I don't know yeah and uh, on the outside you have these uh, 30 is is an inlay also from copper or, or copper style brass. Oh, you can uh, feel it. <clears throat> yeah. It's cold. And so it's looking wonderful. Well, uh, <laughs> you have to deliver something <laughs> for more than a thousand. <laughs> so uh, for a thousand, I think this is quite cheap. <laughs> this envelope as well. And here in this envelope, um, they say, um, like the wave washed granite walls of our distillery, this rare bottle of Lefroy has acquired a rounded character of exceptional smoothness through its double maturation in first and second fill ex bourbon barrels. Um, <clears throat> this is 1985. And 1985, the big British recession was going on. It started in 1979 with a coal mine worker strike going on, and then uh, Margaret Thatch Thatcher took over and uh, everything went down in the economy and a lot of distilleries had to close. Uh, and a lot of distilleries do not come out of closure, so they, they ceased operation forever. And uh, 
Most of them worked only part time, so the amount of whiskey produced was very low because people had no money to buy the whiskey. <clears throat> and there they have still 30 year old whiskey casks left over from the distillery. This is very, very good. Yeah. Color bright gold, well, that matches. Mandarin and mango rise to the fore tempered by toasted almond and coconut in the nose. Aromatic peat oils are interwoven, appearing as cedar, wintergreen, and smoked sage. A drop of water releases flashes of honey and apricot. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> the palate's a superbly oily mouthfeel with orange peel, vanilla, and coriander leaf in a cedar cigar box alongside wild root ginseng. Mm -hmm. Finish long and complex with lingering pulpy stone fruit and chewy green hand rolled tobacco. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. We also get a little <laughs> advertisement leaflet here <laughs> to become <laughs> friends of Lafroy and own your own plot of uh, of an yeah plot of Isla. And I already did that and he already did that and mm -hmm. I visited his plot if you want to see the video and please click on that link. And yeah, there you see me walking around finding my plot and horse plot and having a, a dram of whiskey on the plot. With the help of a club position. The positioning system, yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, wow. Very fruity. Mm -hmm. Very fruity. This tangerine. And very, very lightly smoky. Lightly smoky, so the fruit is immediately there. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you have a, a nose on a, mm -hmm. a fried 10 year old, there's a lot of smoke in the beginning and you, you taste mm. nothing else. Yeah. It's this. So, so it's tangerine, mango. Mm. It's, it's, fruit. It's, it's tropically fresh fruit. Yeah. Yeah. Mandarin, mango. And the smoke is not that strong. There is this uh, light phenolic taste, which is very popular to, to Lefroy, but not overwhelming. No. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. So it's a lot in it. It's very complex. And there's a light spiciness and a little nuttiness. But this typical uh, and bitter, spicy oakiness is missing. Yeah, yeah it's missing. It's, for me, uh, I would have expected, yeah, there must be a lot of wood in there because, you know, 30 years of exposure to wood must leave a wood footprint. But it doesn't. It's, for me, it's just very, very fruity with a hint of with a hint of smokiness <clears throat> but it's you, you realize it's complex you have you can pick out many different fruits in there I would the more I dive into there I would say yeah there is coconut there is a bit of coconut in there and uh, what what finds me very puzzling is you have a 53.5% alcohol by volume whiskey which is 107 proof which is a lot and I can stick my nose in all the way, take a deep breath, mm -hmm. and don't get any alcohol. No, it's not this, this cold, shiny uh, eucalyptus uh, yeah. alcohol note in it, no? It's, <clears throat> it's very, very mature. Yeah. And I would think that they had uh, refill ex-bourbon casks or re-refill ex-bourbon casks, and mm. then uh, they double matured it so they refilled it mm. into fresh ex bourbon cask and they deliver this extreme yeah. aromas where the fruitiness I think might come from the uh, from the resilient character but probably also from the long time of oxidization yeah. <coughs> As a, yeah oxidized brings out but usually from oxidized notes you get uh, the 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 dried notes like dates like uh, figs, figs. And, and that kind of stuff here it's a bit more fresh very interesting I wouldn't yeah. have expected that so I diluted it with a little bit of water and just down to 50 yep a more of a neat and guy in the beginning <laughs> it was very weak and, and I thought mm. I, I screwed it up but <clears throat> now the, the aromas are coming back and the fruitiness is increasing yeah hmm Mm. Wow. Mm. 
full in the beginning, very oily, little citrus notes in it, and then it's covering my mouth and it's getting drier. Mm -hmm. And some some herbs, spicy herbs coming through. <clears throat> Probably those those ginseng something. Mm. Yeah. My second sip was much more oily than the first one. I really got the oiliness this time, and I'm I'm amazed how mature this is. And but at the same time, this is still you still have fresh notes. I I do get a bit of a a citric note, not sour, but you realize that that citric flavor, bit of vanilla. And also a bit of that foreign spices uh, like ginseng, a bit of ginger, I would say as well, yeah. but very, very, very lightly. Um, it's really mm. intense, despite the maturation only in bourbon casks. It's really full and intense, and it's a lot more intense than the 10 year old is, which is also matured in, mm. in first, second, third fill. Uh, ex bourbon cast. This one is much more mature and a lot fuller. And fifty three point five percent is a, is a lot for thirty mm -hmm. years. Yeah, for me the the intensity comes much from the flavor. Um, I have cask strength in there, and it's a cask strength whiskey that it's not attacking with alcohol on you. You you can take a full gulp, and it's it's not it's not uh, attacking you. It's it's pleasant in your mouth. But it would be hard for, for every year in your mouth, 30 years, one second, mm. Mm, 30 seconds. <laughs> so you can't have another one after this one. So your mouth is full in impact mm. Mm. and it stays for, for a long, mm. long time. Mm. And the fruitiness in the end, long after taste. Mm. So if you have it too long mm. and your tongue will, will <laughs> paralyze your tasting buds. <laughs> so. <laughs> Mm. That's yeah. amazing. It's a it's a punch of fruit and with with amazing complexity and all the different facets and different directions. Mm. I love it. I love it. I think we'll place it right here. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take it home, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Probably yeah. we have to make it half and half. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, we share. <laughs> so, yeah. Have anything else? Uh, yeah, to, to use a fancy word, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to know more about Lafroig, then please visit whiskey.com. And if you'd like to um, get into the discussion with us, then go to whiskey.com, go into the forum. And we now do have a single sign on. So with your YouTube account logged in you can just go on log in with google and just do two clicks and then you're ready to um, post into our forum and we will answer you so thank you very much for watching